everyone, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates. I'm a lettering artist, illustrator, and digital designer. So today I have a tutorial for you on how to create an SVG file using Procreate and Adobe Illustrator. This is my process and my workflow on how I create SVG files. There are many different ways to do this. There are many different programs to do this. I just wanted to show you my process of how I create SVG files. So if you are a Procreate user, um, there is no way to export your files in Procreate directly into SVG format. That's why um, I need to use Illustrator to turn my raster file into a vector file. You can also use Inkscape and you can also use Silhouette Studio to do this, but today I'm gonna to show you how to do it using Illustrator. So right here, I have the design that I want to change into an SVG file. I'm not gonna show you how I created this design. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I used a monoline brush um, that comes with Procreate and I just lettered out a simple phrase. Now I wanna transfer this to my computer, but what I wanna do first is I want to turn off the background. So I'm gonna come over here to the layers panel, uncheck the background, then come over here to the wrench and under share, I'm gonna share it as a PNG. So I'm gonna export this as a PNG and airdrop it over to my computer. Now, if you don't have a Mac, you can air, you can email it to yourself, um, but just get it over to your computer. And so now I'm gonna take you over into Illustrator and show you how I create the SVG file. So here we are in Illustrator and what I've done is I've, imported the PNG file that we exported from Procreate into Illustrator. So now we have to take this file and turn it into an SVG file. In order to do that, we have to convert it into a vector file. And to do that, we use something called Image Trace. So to trace your image, you make sure your image is selected and then go up to Window, image trace to bring up the image trace panel. This is the default settings for image trace. I leave everything the same except for one thing. I come down here to ignore white. By checking ignore white, you're not gonna be left with any funky white shapes in your final trace. So after you have everything the way that you want it, come up here to expand and when you hit expand you can see that your file is now composed of points and these are called anchor points and this is what allows your file to be scaled up infinitely so if i just zoom in here you can see that each layer or each letter is comprised of points now you can edit those points if you want to, and there are a few ways that you can do that. One is you can add or delete anchor points with this tool right here. So if you click on that, that's delete anchor point, and you can just come and delete any anchor point that you don't think you need. So like down here, there's two points here that are pretty close to each other. We really don't need those two. So I'll click on delete anchor point and click on that point and that goes away. That also brings up the handles. Each anchor point has these two handles attached to it and then you can move the handles and adjust your curves that way. So you can add or delete an anchor point. You can adjust any curves to smooth them out and the last tool that I like to use is the smooth tool and that's just a really easy way to smooth your lines out if they're kind of jagged. I don't see any jagged lines on this file but I'll just show you um, 
this smooth tool really quick. Let me see if I can find an area that might be, that might need a little smoothing. Let's just go down here to this E, or no, this this will be good right here. This N right here. Say we want to smooth out this curve a little bit right here. So the smooth tool is over here, and if you just click on it and then come over here to your path and just click and drag, see how it smooths out that path a little bit? So you can smooth it out like that without having to like use the handles. And you can see that this curve is now a lot smoother than the curve was before. Now we are ready to save this as an SVG. Actually, we need to do one more thing and we need to turn these paths into compound paths. So to do that, we need the layers panel and over here is the layers panel. If you don't see it over here, you can go to Windows, Layers, and it'll pop up. So underneath here, here is our image, and then here is all of our paths. So you see that kindness, the word kindness is one path, but the dot on the I is separate. We want to group those together and kind of glue those paths together. And that is called making a compound path. So if I select um, the word kindness and I also select the I, and if I go Command 8, that's the shortcut for a compound path. And you can see now that it's all one path. Now, I think I want the hearts to be a compound path as well. So I'm just gonna select both the hearts and the layers panel and hit Command-8. And then you can see that turns those into a compound path. And then the word choose, the C is separate because there's no connection to the H. So I'm gonna select the C and the rest of the word, and again, Command-8 for a compound path. You can also make the entire thing a compound path. You just select everything and hit Command-8. That makes the entire thing a compound path, and it glues everything together. So the final step to save this as an SVG is just to go up to File, Save As, Come down here and choose SVG. And you can save it wherever you'd like. I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. Hit OK. And, and there it is. Now I'm going to open it in Silhouette Studio just to make sure everything saved correctly. So here I've opened my SVG file in Silhouette Studio. And I'm just going to make one last check to make sure that everything saved properly out of Illustrator. And to do that, all I'm going to do is come over here to the Send panel, make sure that there's red lines around every letter. In Silhouette Studio, the red lines are the cut lines, so I'm just making sure everything here looks okay and there's nothing that is not going to be cut and there's no red lines anywhere except around the areas that we want to cut and it looks good so that is my process of how i create svg files using procreate and adobe illustrator if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new tutorials. If you want to learn more about SVG files, visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.